Hi, my name is Priyanka and I'm going to talk about pop-up authentication and how it can be useful in different environments. The main purpose of using PaperCut in most organizations is to identify the user who's printing the job and to be able to chart their account. If we cannot identify the user who's printing the job, it could be a big problem for the system administrators. PaperCut solves this problem uh, by providing this basic authentication pop-up um, and I'm going to discuss all the scenarios where it can be very, very useful. PaperCut normally relies on the underlying operating system and the associated print queues to perform authentication. However, in some network environments, uh, relying on network level authentication is either not possible or not reliable. Common examples include all users log in with a generic username password, meaning it's not possible to distinguish between users. And in unauthenticated network environments where people bring their own personal laptops. For each of these situations, uh, PaperCut provides a solution of enabling pop-up authentication on a user or a print queue. In a generic username password environment, for example, a lab is set up for users to log in under a generic username, say, student. In those situations, the only way to identify the user who's sending the job is by enabling pop-up authentication. So here, for example, um, I have the user student added to my paper cut system. And what I have done is basically enabled pop-up authentication, which is just the unauthenticated user option on this page. And now what will happen is when I send a print job, a pop-up authentication is going to appear, which will ask me for my credentials. So now if I try to send a print job, a pop-up authentication should appear. So let's try printing this document and see what happens. So now um, I need to put in my login details. This is the pop-up authentication, as you can see and I can log in with my credentials and it will save the credentials for the next five minutes. Uh, this is something that is configurable. That's it. And now if I go under logs, the job basically got printed under the username Priyanka and my job got recorded. That's the document name. And it did not appear under the generic username student. Pop-up authentication can not only be turned on on a per user basis, it can also be turned on on a print queue level. Um, this is where it gets turned on from uh, under advanced configuration. The unauthenticated printer basically turns on the pop-up authentication. This is useful in environments where people bring their own laptops and they log in with their local username password. So for those jobs to appear under the Active Directory username password or domain username password, they need to run the user client software on the workstations and make sure the unauthenticated printer option is turned on. So now if I try to send a print job to the same printer where we have enabled pop-up authentication, it should basically show me a dialog asking for credentials. So this is the printer that uh, has pop-up authentication enabled. And if I print a pop-up authentication, and it works exactly the same way how it works for generic username password environments. So here I can enter my username, my domain username, and my password. And once that's done, I should be able to see the job in the queue under the log section as always. So this was the printer where we had pop of authentication turned on. And if we see the jobs for this printer, we can see this print job that came through. And it has been charged to Priyanka.